What's up guys, how you doing? Thanks for clicking on the video. We're out in the woods today to focus on one of the most fundamental skills any good bushcrafter should have, which is fire lighting, specifically gathering and using natural tinder resources. Um, so I'm going to turn my shamag into a collection pouch, we're going to wander around this area of woodland, uh, see what kind of things we can find, and then see how easy they take a spark uh, to get a fire going. Hope you enjoy it. already in my shamag, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I've just got a few bits and pieces for the day, so I always carry my first aid kit. I've got my fire lighting kit, uh, I've got my uh, knife sharpener just in case I need it, spare batteries for the camera, bottle of water and just uh, a chargeable battery pack. So that stuff's in there already, um, so hopefully it shouldn't matter, I'm just going to pile tinder on top of it. Um, but yeah, just to say, I'm just going to turn this into a carrying pouch rather than kind of a pack uh, to sling over my back. So we tie opposite corners together, double knot, and then we do the same thing with the other two, and then hopefully I can use this just to collect some tinder. The reason for today's video is all about me trying new things and trying to improve my own skills. Um, and natural tinder is something that I really need to work on. Um, you know, I'm perfectly happy going out with man-made tinders like cotton wool and stuff like that and getting a fire going. I could do that fairly consistently now. Um, but natural resources is something that I don't know a great, uh, great deal about. I know a little bit, but not enough really. So that's why I'm out today, just to practice. So I'm not spending the night or anything. I'm literally just wandering about the woods and um, taking a look at what's on the ground uh, and you know, collecting some stuff and seeing if it will take a spark. I don't know if all of it will, uh, some of it may not. Um, so it's very wet at the moment uh, here in England. Um, you know, it's winter time. Winter, for want of a better term, in Southern England. Um, so it's more damp and wet than anything else. It's not cold. It's damp and wet, so that does make fire lighting more difficult. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. You know, this is just a bit of fun just to try out different things, see how we get on, uh, so that when I come back, you know, in the future, I have to bring less gear. You know, I can leave the cotton wool at home and trust my own skills. I trust that I'll be able to find and collect things. So that's what we're doing. I read somewhere that dead bracken like this, if it's dry, can be a really good tinder. So we're going to take a bunch of this stuff, uh, pop this in the pouch, and yeah, see how easily it, uh, it can uh, get, take a spark. Don't know how much to take, because obviously I'm just practicing. I'm not actually going to get a fire going for real. I just want to see how easy this stuff can take a, a spark. So let's get a load of this stuff. It's snapping really easily, which is good. It's obviously dead because it's all brown and stuff. So. I'm going to assume we want the leaves, as many of the leaves as we can get, rather than anything else. I also assume that this stuff would be good to make a tinder bundle out of as well. So maybe we'll try that if we have time. Also read that silver birch bark is really good. So I'm gonna collect some of this off this dead tree. Now, this looks really old and really rotten, so I don't know how good it'll be, but we'll give it a give it a whirl. So why don't we take some of this moss as well? Maybe if we can dry the moss out, see how well that takes a spark as well. I'll put it in the pouch and, and see if we can get it dry by the time we want to uh, give some of this stuff a go.
just found something cool on this dead tree, which are these. Now, if I've got this right, this is a type of fungi that is, tends to be called King Alfred's Cakes uh, and is really good for getting an ember going with fire lighting. So I'm going to collect these. There's another piece over here. See if we can strike a spark into that and, uh, and get an ember going. Usually, they only grow on dead ash and uh, obviously this wasn't uh, these bits that I've got weren't actually growing or attached to this bit of tree so I don't know if somebody else has come in here and done a bit, bit of what I'm doing and just accidentally left them uh, so if you have however you are whoever you are thank you very much because I'm gonna nick them and see how we get on uh, yeah trying to get a fire going with them so here's the hall we've got some uh, dead bracken we've got some dead grass we've got some very dead and old oak leaves we've got some moss got some silver birch bark that was just from a downed tree that's very old. Uh, I've got a different type of bark, I think. Uh, I don't know, this might still be birch actually, uh, but it was from a bunch of um, chopped up branches that are just behind the camera over here. This woodland is, is obviously maintained by someone and they've been cop uh, coppicing, if that's the right word. Uh, so there's a whole pile of them over there and, and I found that that bark came off really easily. Um, might be birch, might not be. If anybody knows what it is, please tell me. Um, so we'll see if that takes a spark as well. Uh, and then we've also got uh, our King Alfred's cakes. So the idea is just to spark a flame into some of this stuff, um, potentially put a, an actual flame to it uh, and see kind of what works as a, as a natural tinder source. Um, I might try and use the dead grass as a tinder bundle if I can get an ember going on the King Alfred's cakes. So let's have a play. All right, first up, let's try this bracken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate out a little bit. because I don't wanna try and send it all up at the same time. Um, so I'm gonna try and use my uh, light my fire, fire steel, to see if we can get um, this going with just a spark. So what I'm going to do is, because tinders really, as far as I'm aware, should be very fibrous. So I'm just going to kind of squash it up a little bit. Try and get it as sort of small as possible. There's a few bigger sticks in there, so let's pull them out, pop them there. Right, so we're going to make a little pile of this bracken just on the ground here. Now this ground's very wet, so I'm not particularly worried about starting a fire because uh, obviously we're not out to start a fire just to see if we can get something so uh, very very dead bracken let's see if this works Okay, so the bracken doesn't seem to take a spark very well, but let's see what happens if we introduce an actual flame uh, instead. Let's try adding a bigger amount, shall we? Let's hold it up and see over, over the flame and see if that makes any difference. So. So, would be useful, perhaps more as a like a bird's nest uh, around an ember to get going. Um, in terms of actually starting a fire with it, using it as a tinder, straight out tinder, uh, I'm not sure I have the skills to get this going. If there's a different way of doing this and processing it so that it takes a spark more easily, then um, you know, please do, please do let me know. So yeah, that's cool. We know now, at least I know now, that if I've got flame, like an actual lighter then uh, the bracken would be quite useful, but maybe it needs to be paired with, with something else to get it going. Cool. I reckon that the dried grass is gonna be exactly the same as the bracken in terms of it's not gonna take a spark, I don't think. And, and the flame, it would probably get going if it was held over a flame for long enough. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is save that and see if we can get a decent tinder bundle using the dried grass and the bracken and put one of the King Alfred's cakes in if we can get a good ember off that. So um, what we'll try now is some leaves. Now in my experience, 
leaves aren't really very great at uh, getting a fire going. They're, you know, if they're really, really dry, there might be a half decent kindling, but they burn so quickly and give off a lot of smoke. So I don't expect this to <laughs> expect this to work, but we'll give it a go. So we're going to try the same kind of thing first, sparks first, and then uh, then a lighter um, if that doesn't work. I'm not going to crush these up just to see what happens. I'm just going to see if we can get something going just by uh, putting some hot sparks into it. Okay, that's clearly not working. So let's take a few, scrunch them up. See if this does anything. I'm very, very doubtful. No, okay. So that doesn't work. So what we'll do now is we'll go to a slightly less primitive method and we'll try a flame. So again, tell you what, let's just lift them up, get underneath and see if this does anything. Yeah, there we go. So it's the same kind of deal as the bracken, uh, and I suspect the grass that might be useful as part of a tinder bundle, but just by itself. Um, the leaves themselves, this, the actual oak uh, might be quite useful, particularly if you can get some slightly more fibrous strands. Let's try that. See if that does anything. If you can actually get the wood itself going, then that might make a difference, but yeah. I think the leaves themselves, not great as a tinder bundle, as a tinder source, anyway. Okay, O for two. <laughs> right, next up, let's try the moss. Now, again, not expecting to be able to get this going using just the spark. Um, maybe with the lighter. And again, I would suspect that if moss is useful, it's probably more useful in a tinder bundle rather than as a tinder source. But let's top those away. Let's give this a go. Again, same thing, sparks first. sparks on it. Yeah, didn't think so. Right, what about... So, as suspected, it's a similar deal, again, to the bracken and the grass, in that uh, I don't think it's particularly useful as a, as a tinder source. Maybe there's something else that I need to do to it to process it, um, to get it going better, I don't know. Um, obviously, this is a little bit damp because it was close to the ground, but not, you know, it's not sopping wet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't work for me. So <laughs> if anybody knows how to use moss as a tinder source, please do, again, let me know. Let me know what I can do, help you learn. Let's move on to a more tried and tested <laughs> tinder sauce, shall we? Uh, we're gonna try the birch bark. Now, I know for a fact that this stuff does work as a tinder sauce, uh, if you can get it with a, with a ferro rod. Um, there is some processing to be done. Uh, the way that I've seen Ray Mears do it is to get a knife and scrape the inside of the bark uh, to get a, a very fine powder, which you can then put sparks into and get a fire that way. Um, 
this stuff is very old. Uh, well, very old. This stuff is old um, and kind of damp because it was on a fallen down tree that's obviously been here for I don't know how long. So I don't know if that will affect how this goes, um, but we're going to give it a try. We'll get a knife. Where is my knife? No, nope, that's a lighter. There we go. So I've just got my little Swiss Army knife with me. Uh, and we're going to scrape the inside of the bark, see if we can get powder going and then put a spark into it. So let's give that a whirl. Okay, I don't know if I've got enough powder, but let's give this a whirl. Please work. Oops, so there's definitely a little bit of an ember there. Okay. Well, I definitely think this will work. As you can see, we're getting little bits of embers. Maybe my bark's just a bit old. Um, but anyway, it is, I can feel it's about to start raining, so I need to get a shifty on with a bit of this. So let's try a, an actual flame in here and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I just think this stuff's really old. There we go, anyway, birch bark. Definitely a good one. Yeah, so again, I mean, maybe it's my lighter, but really struggling, ow, I'm starting to burn myself, to get anything going with this particular bark. So, give up, let's move on again. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do, because we've not been successful so far, is uh, give this a go. So this is what I think is a King Alfred's cake, which should uh, take a spark. Uh, be able to blow that into an ember, pop it into a tinder bundle that I've made from the bracken and grass um, and see if we can blow it into life. Now this is something that I haven't done for a very long time uh, and it's something that I obviously need to work on a practice which is, is why we're out. So let's give this a go. I'm really not good at this. <laughs> see if we, tell you what, let's go and see if we can find a bigger, better, drier one. Maybe these aren't what I thought they were. Or maybe I'm just rubbish. Which is entirely, entirely possible. Okay, I've been doing this for quite a while now and for whatever reason, I cannot get these things to take a spark. So uh, I am going to leave it there. Um, perhaps these aren't what I thought they were. Uh, maybe they are still too damp. Um, so I know that they do need to be dry uh, to get the, the spark going really well. So what I think I'll do is I'll take them home, dry them out, 
and then I'll bring them back out at some point uh, and see if I can see if I can do this. I'll collect more tinder bundles, make birds less like this. This is now completely useless, be gone, um, and see if I can actually get a fire going that way. But yeah, for today, uh, I think I'm going to call it quits because uh, I think it's about to rain at any moment uh, and I am quite hungry, so I need to go and get some food. So yeah, I'm going to leave this attempt at natural tinders there. Well, what a disappointing outing. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I really hope you learned something in this video. Perhaps, uh, perhaps the only thing you learned was how not to do this kind of stuff. But there we go. You know, sometimes this is the way this goes. Um, you know, I said at the start that the reason that I got out today is because I'm not very good at natural tinders and I want to, I want to improve uh, and learn and get better. So um, clearly I still have a lot of work to do, but that's okay. You know, we will persevere and carry on. Uh, I am going to come out again at some point and try this again. If you guys have any suggestions as to what I can do, how I can process stuff, what I should use, you know, please, please, please put it in the comments. You know, put me, give me a resource, send me somewhere, uh, like a YouTube video or a book that's really good to read with this kind of stuff in it, because uh, I really, really want to, uh, want to progress in this particular area. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me fail. Uh, if you're new here, Please, please, please feel free to subscribe uh, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care.